I'm here at the NXP uh, stand demonstrating uh, this. What you see here is the embed micro controller, and it's a tool used by engineers to rapidly prototype. Uh, so what we're doing today is we've got a USB host running on this embed microcontroller and we've just got a cheap uh, Bluetooth dongle which you can get for your PC and we're just using that today with the Wii remote. So we haven't changed anything about this, we just reverse engineered it uh, to work with our robot here. So as you can see, it's reasonably challenging. Embed is a market controller uh, used by engineers to rapidly prototype things uh, and it's also used by hobbyists you know, to do fun things like this. So uh, the main advantage is it's got a lot of grunt, it's a powerful uh, Cortex-M3 processor so you've got a lot of connectivity as well. So you've got Ethernet, uh, serial, cam, uh, pulse width modulation and analog. So you've got a lot of connectivity to play with. Another strength of the embed is the online compiler. Uh, it's very simple to use. Uh, if I just show you, uh, you can do it anywhere on any operating system, anything like that. And it's as simple as, uh, so we've got four LEDs on the embed and it's as simple as just going equals one to turn them on. So it's a really simple uh, platform to develop in. It's C++, but there's a lot of libraries uh, wrapped around the, connect, uh, the connectivity, so you can get things done very easily, very quickly. Because it's online based, uh, there's a real strong community behind it. So. Uh, people uh, upload libraries, programs themselves, uh, you know, when, when they get other devices working, such as Bluetooth dongles, they can upload the library files for everyone else to use, so anyone can modify programs for their own purposes, so that's a real advantage of it, so it gets things done very quickly. You can go to embed.org, uh, you can buy it from DigiKey if you're in America for $59. Good. Uh, yeah. Or well, if you're in the UK, you can get it from uh, uh, RS Components for £40 <laughs> for British users.